Welcome, guys. Um, myself, Marta Verse here. Uh, Marta, <laughs> in short. Um, I also have Perry with me, uh, who is going to be uh, telling you more about the, the the challenge real soon. Just make sure you are watching the stream. So on Perry's uh, name, if you look on the left side of the screen, you have a right, uh, you have a red um, icon, and when you hover above it, it asks you to watch the stream. So make sure you're there. Um, we, you can also guys, as we, um, move along with this presentation, you can ask questions in the chat. Uh, the chat is, uh, live, uh, you should be able to, uh, show, uh, chat in the right corner, uh, of the screen. I will be able to read out the questions and, uh, we will be answering them, um, at the end of the, of the presentation. Thank you very much for showing up. Uh, we're really, really um, delighted to have you all here. Uh, the Discord has been a long, long coming for myself. I was very, very lucky to um, bring in this amazing community together and everyone that is uh, helping me build it and um, make it amazing. Uh, they're, they're brilliant people. I've been very, very lucky. We're not like every other Discord, you know. Um, Martiverse had been, I suppose the foundation of it was always to support each other and to be very positive and a place where people can learn and yeah, gain knowledge and of course money. I'm going to uh, see if Perry is ready. Uh, hopefully there'll be no issues in terms of audio or video. If you can't see or hear, let us know in the chat. And like I said, uh, feel free to ask questions as well. I'll bring them up uh, at the end of the presentation back to you again. I'll read them out and um, uh, we'll do our best to answer them. So thanks again, like I said, and welcome, um, Perry. The floor is yours. Hello, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to do a little mic check to see if everyone can hear me. I tested this a little bit yesterday. Um, should be working if I'm correct. And the screen share should also be working. I see there's some people still have to tune in. I can see you and I'm recording this as well. And I can hear you if anyone in here has any issues. Just let us know so we can fix it. Right, perfect. Um, let me just get one last thing set up and then we can start it off. All right, everything should be sorted. All right, first of all, I'd like to thank you all for joining this live session about the compounding strategy and the challenge that we are about to plan for all of you. Um, a little bit about myself. I've been actively trading crypto for almost 10 years now. And in the last couple of years, I have developed a strategy that works uh, pretty well for myself. And um, with this challenge, I would like to share both the strategy with you guys but I also would like to give you all the opportunity to follow along with the setups we have in mind for this challenge. So let me tell you a little about the strategy itself. Um, the compounding strategy can be uh, relatively safe and uh, steady way of achieving great amounts of profit as it only requires for a trader to achieve one winning trade a day. And the best part is that the trade only requires a 1% candlestick with a leverage of X5. So this would sum up to be a 5% win on each daily compounding trade. Um, because you only need at least one of these trades a day, it's relatively safe, stress-free, and um, it also builds the discipline to trade consistently without chasing any setups as you just need that one perfect condition each day. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a swing trader, a scalper, or any other kind of 
stealth trader, the only thing you should be looking for is a really consistent and safe trade a day. And a 1% candle, you can basically find in everything. Uh, a bounce from support, a bounce from resistance. Um, if you look at EMAs or if you look at any other thing you feel confident with, you just have to aim for it, basically for that 1% candlestick. Um, so meaning you could really plan out that one trade a day and be climbing up the ladder to a financial freedom, so to say. Um, I've been using this strategy myself for about four years now. And um, I've just, I basically do two trades a day very consistently with a, a low amount of goal. And of course, if the market keeps moving your way, you, you try to get a little bit more profit out of it. But the thing here is that you, that I'm trying to show you is that you don't have to be making those crazy 50% trades to, um, to really earn big. So I have prepared a sheet for you guys in which we will, um, in which we will track these trades, but I will also share the sheet to anyone willing to do this compounding with us. Um, let me pop it up real quick. There it is. So if you take a look at the sheet here, which we will also share at the end of the live session, you can see how easy it is to turn $100 into more than 10K within basically seven months. Um, in theory, you can even make about um, 400K um, within a year of one single trade a day of only achieving that 1% trade uh, or 1% um, win on each trade. Um, now, of course, there's a number. Uh, these numbers might seem uh, pretty insane, but in theory, it is very possible. The real question is, however, with how, ma with how much money are you able to be comfortably trading these compound trades? For example, for some people, um, 1.6K, let me just drag it a little bit back here. There we go. Um, for some people, um, trading with uh, 1.6K would be a very solid maximum, allowing you to achieve about $80 um, in profit on each trade uh, and doubling your investment every month. And for other people, backs of for example, 400 US dollars is a nice maximum, which is about $20 profit on each trade. And um, they, they, they feel comfortable enough with that. It's, it's, it's not per se consistently going to the next month. You also have to feel comfortable with what you're doing. Um, I know people that are just sticking around cycle for, for example, trading with $800 and doubling that back every month. Um, just to show you a little bit um, how the sheet works before I um, move a little bit on. So as you also can see here, um, and you don't have to start on 100. If you have $50, you can simply go to the top column turn it into 50 and you can see your daily profit goals. It all automatically updates. So you just start with whatever you feel comfortable with. If it's $50, $100, 1K, you can just fill in the top column and the sheet will automatically update to your um, preferred starting capital. Um, so let's say, for example, you're making um, that one trade and you're, you actually made, um, let's say, $7 instead of $5. You fill in the actual achieved profit. You mark it as completed. And down here, you see the sheet gets updated. And here you can see that at the end of the month, the wallet profit total should be um, matching the end of the cycle uh, total wallet goal. So sometimes you make a little bit more. Sometimes you make a little bit less. 
And um, in the end, you're just trying to at least achieve this goal. Uh, no pressure, just consistently trading towards this goal. Um, now, you guys might be wondering if it's this easy, why is not everyone doing this, right? Well, this is because the strategy isn't commonly used. First of all, most people try to become rich as fast as possible. They see it like a race, you know, which they want to win in a matter of weeks. Um, the power of this strategy is consistency and achieving weekly goals, which are very manageable and turning that consistency into a snowball, which only gets bigger and bigger as you move forward. Um, the biggest mistake uh, being made while compounding is that people don't have control over their discipline. After tasting a few wins and feeling how easy it is to make these steady compounds, they often overdo it. Uh, they often overdo themselves by trying to trade as much compounds as they can um, within a day, which nine out of ten times will just lead to more losses. You know, you you start getting greedy, um, sloppy on your setups, and you start losing more than you're making. Uh, this strategy is really developed based on only trading setups with a high level of confidence, meaning only one should be your goal, with maybe an exception of taking a second or a third if you are really 1000% sure of the setup you're about to take. Um, another mistake people uh, make is to add the profit of every trade into the next trade. Um, the goal here is really to put your profit away on a separate wallet. And this can be a sub account. You can do that on Bybet, for example. But you could also transfer the, the US dollar profit into your spot bag or funding bag or just having the discipline of not using it on the next trade. So you keep trading with it $100 until the entire um cycle is done only then you will take the profit so the total back of 200 into the next one um, um after this you will have basically doubled your investment each month and you will take the profit into month two on which you will take that 200 bags making ten dollars profit each trade will, will end up being 400 um, and so on and so on. So basically what you're doing is doubling your investment um, every month, only needing 20 trades. You can skip the weekend. You just need five trades a week. And um, that's basically how you move forward. Um, another mistake that people make, uh, which takes away one of the main powers of this strategy, is to have a too wide stop loss. With this strategy, we aim on a 1% stop loss with a maximum of 1.50. Um, this way, you will only risk losing one or one and a half compound on each loss, which you can then take away of your winning compounding wallet in order to trade with your original bag size again. So for example, let's say um, this week you, you've made some trades here. And you, you've been doing pretty fine, you know, like you even made five dollars more uh, or um, you actually made exactly the, the amount and you're losing one trade then you can just put it on no, put it on no. And um, instead of, um, let's say you added this profit to the next trade, you would be losing way more, risking way more losses in this way two losses, you take away two compounds, for example, and you just need to make that back again, which is risk management wise, pretty doable. So safe amounts of profits, but also keeping the risk management tight, only allowing you to lose uh, one and a half maximum. This way you basically need uh, about 60% win rate to really steadily progress. Um, the last mistake people often make while compounding is that they get greedy and want to stay in too long to make effort, even more profit. While this is, of course, a solid scalping mindset, it doesn't always fit this compounding strategy. 
Um, once you hit that 1% mark, you should be planning your exit. Unless the market is really moving your way, in that case, be sure your stop loss is locked in that profit in case of the market turning against you again. Um, well, now that I have explained a little bit about the concept of this uh, compounding strategy and showing you the amount of money you can make if you have uh, a consistency with these trades of at least one win a day, um, on a very achievable one percentage trade. Um, while we try to do multiple trades a week, we also um, hope to educate and teach you guys on uh, how this concept works. So you can potentially learn how to take your own compounding trades as well. Um, of course, you could also always take the compounds uh, based on um, on other trades that we post or your own trades. There's no set of rules on when or how you should be doing these compounding, as you could easily take our setups and fully close on them once you hit your mark in order to achieve um, an extra compounding trade. Just remember not overdo it and try to keep your compounding and compounding profit separated from your from your normal trading bags in order to really follow the compounding plan with discipline in order to achieve a steady stream of success. So I have prepared a little um, example for you guys um, of a, a template I personally use in these setups to help you understand on how you could take these setups while managing your risk. So. For this example, I um, I zoomed out a little bit on uh, the of uh, of a trade I was making yesterday. Um, in this idea here, I was looking on a pullback back above the daily um, hundred EMA, taking this liquidity. So let me just show you a little example how uh, one of these trades uh, look like for me. Let me, there we go. So here I would have been waiting on a move back towards this daily 100 AMA and see it go above it and potentially retest it to make sure it is uh, locked as support before I would um, go up. So right now you see a breakout. It is going to retest here. If it stays above it, I would go for an entry because I already prepared it. This is going to be a good setup. This is actually one I took yesterday myself as well. Um, so let's continue. There you see the retest. I would be oh, another retest. Here I would be uh, taking this setup. I would be in right now. I marked my lines. Uh, should be one more. There you go. Um, ah, there you go. So as you can see, we have three lines here. Our orange line, which uh, re represents a three percent profit, a yellow line, which represents a four percent profit, and a green line uh, indicating the amount of uh, total profit we can achieve once we close in one of these uh, um, sectors, so to say. Um, my goal normally is to hit the yellow line and not let it retouch the orange line. Um, if we see a decline after touching the yellow line, we will try to close the trade before it exits the take profit area, uh, meaning we will at least achieve uh, half a compound um, not ideal, but I'd rather close with a small profit amount than let it turn back into the entry and potentially even into a loss. Um, and if you see the yellow line being crossed, uh, so if we, zoom, for example, zoom in a little bit more so it doesn't clutter so much, um, we will have our orders ready to exit on the green line unless the market really keeps on moving towards our direction. Um, then we should just place a stop loss 
wants the green line as best to uh, to ensure uh, maximum amount of profit on a pullback. So if we break out of the green line, let's say we keep on moving up, we have our stop loss here, and then we will just manually trade uh, trail it until we see a pullback happening. Um, so let me just click play again and see how this um, would have played out. Dirty week. So in this example, uh, th th this week is a little dirty. I didn't personally close on this one. Um, on this example, you can see we would have closed around the yellow line. If you would have been monitoring this yourself, um, like I did, I <laughs> broke the rules of letting it go back below. So I stayed in a little bit longer because I was aiming on this order block being crushed. It did a pullback back below green, and I basically closed on this pullback here. And uh, now if we really take a look, the setup was pretty solid, even moving up higher and higher. <laughs> but uh, by this time, I was already out. So no greed and risk management. If you see a pullback happening after you have achieved your target, you will just get out of the trade. And that's basically the compounding strategy here of achieving um, very doable amounts of um, trade a day. Now you could have been looking for a second trade, for example, but this breakout here was the, my perfect setup of the day. And this was basically my goal, you know, move up, try to get at 5%, lock it. And now if really another great opportunity happens, I would go for another trade and mark that down. But this is basically the goal with I had, and then I would mark that one down in my sheet and just move on to the next one until the entire sheet is full. So that is basically um, the compounding strategy of trying to get those very achievable daily trades. And this is basically how I mark them out on the chart when I'm doing them. Um, if you follow along our upcoming challenge, you will see charts that um, kind of resemble this. So I have an entry zone, I mark down my stop loss, and I mark down these three um, um, taking profit area, so to say. Um, what I often also do is, I think it's here or... Um, what I often also do is uh, click this button here, um, uh, somewhere here, uh, I forgot, uh, make a copy. And that allows me to basically uh, share this entire sheet with you guys, which you just can pull in your trading view. So you don't have to mark down these levels. But as you can see here at the right side, you could also just draw these lines yourself. Or just take profit when this is happening. Um, so that's basically the um, the sheet and the strategy what we will be using um, for the uh, for the challenge. Um, sometimes the setup that we post might be a little bit different. I mean, both me and Marta have a little different style how we are going to approach this, while trying to stay um, as close as possible to each other. Um, but yeah, that's basically uh, that's basically what we're trying to achieve here. And um, with the challenges itself, we don't really have a starting goal. You you can set it up yourself. You can start with what I said, hundred thousand, one million for all I care, and really steadily progress with you guys, basically from week to week to week, um, really guiding you with some of these setups and achieving a pretty decent amount of profit 
um, as we go. Um, that's my part. Um, I'll, I'll mic drop the microphone back to Marta, see if uh, uh, Marta has something more to add to this. But um, I hope you guys are uh, ex as excited as I am for this. And um, I'm looking forward to uh, be trading with you guys and helping you achieve um, financial freedom with this um, relatively safe compounding strategy. Um, thanks for listening. Thanks, Perry, but you won't be done uh, just yet because I do have oh, some yeah. questions. <laughs> uh, I do have some questions, uh, but I will just maybe quickly uh, add here. The challenge is obviously going to be run in the premium uh, Discord, and we are going to have a separate challenge uh, part in the Discord at a room for that. But that is um, additionally to everything else we do in the Discord. We also have a lot of educational content, a lot of um, spot trading and a lot of scalp trading. So there's, of course, going to be still higher leverage trades. But the idea for this challenge is to teach everyone, really, because it was go it, it teaches each and every one of us every single day about controlling our selves, our emotions, our uh, greed. Greed is an extremely powerful feeling and we know it more than anybody else, especially when we come into this space. And Perry has already talked about as well uh, about this starting uh, amount of money where we will be stressing it and making sure you guys, whoever takes part in this challenge, that you understand it's it's like a side quest. It doesn't have to be your main quest because you can still do your, you know, holding or you can do your um, you can do your DJ plays. You can do your hundred X's if you want for all we like. But this is like you know like an exercise. You can paper trade. You don't have to pay trade with real money. You can start at any time because there the the trades that are going to be put into that. It it won't matter whether you started with us on the day one or on the day 100. The strategy is the same. You pick what you're comfortable with. And it's about getting to that comfort zone in a way where you and I think everyone can relate that once we see and as, 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 as we've covered that a lot actually in the Discord because questions are like, well, what is like, um, what, what amount of money can I make daily? Um, and wh at what point do I exit the trade when I've earned, I don't know, a thousand dollars or what? And it's about shifting that mindset and feeling comfortable with what you see on the screen. Because once we ha see compounded gains and the amount of money that is increasing, our minds tend to play tricks on us. So this strategy strategy will teach you a better risk management and that control of the greed and understanding that you have made money on relatively very safe uh, moves. Because, you know, I, I mean, yeah, there's days that we've seen. They've been very hard to find even that 1% uh, um on Bitcoin, <laughs> but but the idea is, you know, in crypto, there, there's no issue. There's most of the time no problem whatsoever getting that sort of setup. But it's when you get out, it's fine. You know, you can leave the trade open. But all of the strategies and all of the, um, I suppose, like uh, support when it comes to this challenge will, of course, come. Uh, as part of the premium and as part of the of the challenge that we are going to um, embark on. You have a question here and I would actually like to see this because, you know, we can bank that and you've already touched on this as well, Perry. We understand that there's going to be losses happening. So um, I have a question here that, you know, we're assuming here we had that 100% done within a month. Well, how do we approach it if we don't? What happens when we didn't hit that 100%? You know, um, 
and you you're down a, a few percent what 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 way can we what 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 happens then t- with the challenge uh, that's a great question um th- this can be approached on um, multiple ways um Basically, how I usually approach this is, that's why it's called cycle one, two, three, and so on. Um, instead of month one, two, whatever, is you approach one is you really try to look in that, um, let's say for week one, $25. Um, so if you, for example, um, like I marked on the first two, if you lose those, um, let's, let, let's say, um, let, let's make it green again, or just real quick. So let's say you completed your week, right? And you're moving on to the next one and you're losing, let's just make a round number, $5, you know? You can basically simply uh, mark it down as a no, no profit for you. And on the next trade that you're making, and you're making that back, let's just say um, four dollars. You can just mark it on again. Um, but let's say all the way down here, let's just fill in some uh, random numbers, so I can. Uh, there we go. Should be. Uh, So let's see what this is going to turn out to. It's basically going to be a little less. Um, So what you can do is either um, stick to the cycle, try to do um, one or two more trades in order to to fill on the sheet. Um, Let's see, we are about... Okay, we are tw- like $25 short, all right? Um, what you could be doing here, at least I think it should be working. Uh, I will get that sorted real quick. Um, what you could be doing here is basically move on to the next cycle, fill in what your um, total would be. In this example, $100 plus uh, 75 and then you could just mark it here and let the sheet auto update on reaching new daily goals. Um, So what you can either do is make one or two trades up to, to, to fill your goal, or just move on to the next cycle with what you have achieved and um, continue from there. And, uh, Another question here, actually, and that is uh, interesting. Um, if you lose a trade, why don't you log on the sheet that you've lost money, that your stop loss hit, and you don't put in like I'm at minus, a, I don't know, five dollars? Um, there is something. Let me just see if the sheet allows it. Huh? Oh yeah, it, 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 so if you, let's say you are plus five and you're losing that five, then you can just mark it as basically as no, because you're back to the zero. But let's say you lose 10, then you could add minus five. And um, we, we, we could do that. Um, we could do that and just say, okay, we trade 20 setups and uh, at the end of those 20 setups, we are going to move to the next cycle, uh, whatever the, the amount is. Or we could just say, okay, um, let's say um, trade 15, uh, which one? Uh, tra- trade 16 was no success. Um, we are just going to make another trade and mark it as trade um, 16 again. So we, we, we can do it on different approaches. Um, that's still something for you and me to further discuss how we want to mark that down. Um, but we can uh, we, we, we can do it however we uh, we see fit. We can either make up the loss and mark it down and see it as this is our achievement, 20 wins, and then we move on. Or we can say we're going to make 20 trades 
and move on with that amount of money. What I personally do is go for 20 wins, no matter what. So let's see, I let, let's just say I win this trade, I lose this trade and I keep on going. I will stay here until I can mark it green. So just to be clear, every trade we uh, enter, we enter with the same amount of money. Uh, or if you are starting with 100 and you've lost that yeah. $5, are you entering with 95 or are you entering with 100? What I usually do is um, when I'm starting, I have, uh, let, let, let's just say 100 and $125 on the side. So I trade with 100 and I have uh, $25 on the side. So if I lose, for example, the first trade, I will take that from that from the 25. So I can basically, let's say, lose five trades before I um, go lower than the 100. That's but let's say the, fir the, the first two trades is a win. These two are like $10. Then you can basically um, move down from here. So let's say you lose $5 here. You can mark it minus five. Let's say you also lose another one. You can, um, for example, just lower it and go on like that. But that's um, that's more visual uh, things that uh, you and me should uh, should go over a little bit more because uh, we are going to start this challenge in about uh, two weeks. So. Um, me, Marta, and the administrators are going to fine tune a little bit more how we're going to keep track of this. Uh, but if you would ask me, how do I personally track this, then it would be um, like I just explained. I would keep on knocking until I have those 20 wins. And if I lose at the beginning of the um, if I lose at the beginning of the uh, challenge, I have a little bit spare money, let's say $10, $15, whatever, to allow at least two or three bad starts. But as soon as you have your first two or three wins, you, you just take it away from those wins and go one step back and two steps forward, so to say. So guys, just to be also clear, there is going to be in the uh, premium uh, site that challenge is going to be tracked and we are going to start uh, when we post the trades between myself and um, Perry. Um, we are going to be tracking it, how we are progressing with the trades we post as a discord, as this as part of this challenge. But each member of the discord that takes part in this challenge will get their own sheet and they will be able to track it for themselves. So they can put in any amount and they can enter the trades or this, uh, the, the, the idea is to also have enough trades that it doesn't matter that if I posted a trade and you missed entry, there's going to be another trade posted that day that we are aiming for the 1% candle. That's why it is consistent and simple and not as, I suppose, stressful as every other strategy uh, that we do. Um, like we, we all, you know, love leverage and we up that leverage a lot of the times. But this is like what we were explaining from the get go is to show you that you really don't need to start with either crazy amount of money and enter with high risk and yeah like you know assume that oh my god i'm going to become a millionaire because you can easily and at this point perry is comfortably doing this every single month and basically you earn your own salary you know whatever it is you know you could be doing this and just ma making money for a holiday or yeah living of that um and once you kind of get to and there's a lot of uh, traders that uh, have similar uh, approach and they aim for either 1% or 2%. Some people go for 3%. But we want to show you guys that there's a way to make money without that additional stress of, oh my God, I missed a trade. I missed the entry. I'm running after this. I, you know, 
there is a nice consistency to this. It's been tested. It's been done. It's, you know, that 1%, it is one hour uh, trade, uh, but it's very achievable, regardless of how crazy the market is. You might be able, you know, and you might get to a point where you've done your week one uh, in one trade because the market was so favorable and you managed to manage that trade to that point and you're done. But you learn to walk away. You learn to take that profit. You learn to be like, I have my week's wages made in that one trade. I have a week off. I can do whatever I want with my time. You don't over trade. You don't over leverage. You don't stress anymore. And if you make a loss, it's a tiny loss. It's a small loss. And you walk, uh, you know, you either look for another trade or you give yourself that time off as well. It's again, back to mindset, um, risk management, and we are all going to be definitely there to support you guys, to, you know, to answer all questions and uh, help as much as we can. Um, I'm just looking here, uh, Perry. I don't know if you saw other questions. Uh, how many yeah, different Yeah, I've been uh, asking a few questions in the chat, but uh, so, sorry. Uh, but, uh, I'll read it out because obviously I'm recording this. Uh, so uh how many different pair coins um would you advise or do you personally look at during uh, cycle one uh so is your stop loss put at five percent yes so we've already answered that but how many different i mean i think perry it really will be down to whatever we we see it's not just going to be i suppose bitcoin or or ethereum um no 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 exactly so uh, um me personally how i do stuff is i have a watch list on trading view uh, usually about uh, four or five uh, pairs that i'm uh, consistently looking marking out and i'm really up to date with on why they are moving and how they can move um and I evaluate this basically every week. Is there a new coin that I think should be on my watch list? But I'm usually trying to stay with five coins max myself and really um, um, learn these coins, become these coins, you know, like be one with the coin, and um, which allows me to uh, make way better trades because uh, one coin might uh, respond really well on a certain EMA or um, or um, any other support level, for example, where another coin might fluctuate way more than the other. Um, so I always try to stick with five coins, including a Bitcoin. Uh, so let's say five altcoins, uh, four altcoins to uh, be, be, be on the best of my game. And this can be different with each trader. Some people have like an entire um, watch list observing every, uh, let's say, uh, um, AI coin or meta coin. Um, that's fine for you. But um, how I'm looking at it is basically I have four altcoins that I look at every week and sometimes hustle them up a little bit if something change. Yeah, I, I and guys, I mean, we need to, um, what we're trying to do as well, I think it's as traders understand that volatility is what makes the money, but not always, it's not always there. And many of you have started either peak bull run, uh, last bull run, or have only came in uh, around right now, or I have been around for a long, long time and you already understand. So this strategy allows us to make money in pretty much any market conditions and um, 1% is really achievable and it gives you that sort of um, um, like peace of mind that yeah I can and when you get to a certain level like I said you don't have to start with a lot of money but that's what it, it teaches you you have a core investment, this is what you're going to make off it and you take that profit and you always have that profit and you're not looking at um, throwing all that back in and you know, it's to, it's to get to a, like a comfortable 
zone with yourself. It's a side quest, but that might become like pretty much your, you know, your life. If you have any more questions, guys, uh, feel free uh, to ask. We've been here for over 40 minutes now. Uh, I promise to keep it short, concise. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got uh, um, a good taste, flavor. Uh, I don't know if you, Perry, if you can share uh, the Discord screen because I did promise to kind of show you guys that are not in the premium and are watching this that we're going to um, just give you a, like a quick uh, walk through the Discord, what else is there. Because this challenge is just something, uh, it is something that we said we will add. Um, but I do, of course, want to show off. Um, Perry, it is the same five coins you're trading week to week or change weekly, monthly. Just before Perry asks answers, a lot of people underestimate trading and learning one or two coins. Guys, there's people that trade only certain pairs and they are making a mint because it literally they, they know exactly the behavior of it. They have it blueprinted. There's, of course, like deviations here and there. But trust me, you, you would be surprised how much money you can make by learning a coin. And that's what Perry was talking about. Well, um, you answered that pretty nicely. Um, usually I stick with a, a few amount of coins and it's <laughs> NG, for example, uh, is one coin that I've been trading <laughs> multiple months. Um, yeah, uh, and Atom, I see Marion is here. She loves uh, she loves Lena, <laughs> <laughs> and Lena has made her a lot of money. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there is some coins um, that yeah we we do like to trade. I have a few that I actually like to look at as well um, and keep uh, keep an eye on. I have a list, and you know it because the guys in the Discord. I've shared my lists with you. Um, so Francis, I don't know if you uh, were here, we're trying to get it kicked off within the next two weeks, only because um, me and Perry will be uh, fine tuning, you know, we kind of want to make sure there's going to be separate channel, there's going to be separate room. And I think uh, Perry, if you can scroll down a little bit, uh, it should be showing on your, um, I don't think you guys can see it but we can see it can you mm. should be somewhere here i think i accidentally maybe you rolled it down but oh, there, oh yeah there it be, is yeah. so it's called grow your peach and where you see 100 to 1000 is where we're going to be posting the trades and that's what we are doing right now myself and perry um, because uh the two of us are going to be posting those one percent move setups uh there's still going to be scalps there's still going to be other trades that is totally separate to those as you can see guys on the left hand side um we have a, something called money shower and there's also og corners and every uh og has their space where you can um have your notifications on for them uh they will still be posting within their style within their um, expertise within whatever you know they feel comfortable with that still is there grow your peach is a completely different and a separate approach with low leverage consistent profit taking compounding and doubling your investment within cycles so you can enter the trades we show you it's, you, you know this is never ever financial advice remember that we are only giving you an idea, an example. You're the person who pulls the trigger. You're the person who enters and logs the trade on your own sheet and keeps track of it. That is going to be down to you how you manage it, whether you exit when we told you to exit or you keep going. But that's your risk. If you manage the risk differently, you're going to have different uh, outcomes from this 
challenge. I hope that answers your question, Francis. Yes, Martine, will there be more setups uh, per day? There should be more setups, but like we said, they're not going to be like a setups we have been posting in um, scalps. Um, they're going to be setups with only one R because that what the challenge is about, where you make 1% move at 5x with the amount of money you decided to put into the trade and you leave. There's not going to be target one, target two, target three. And hundreds, you know, 100, 300, 400 PLs being. Yeah, if the trade goes that way, if you manage it that way, and if you get out at 400% uh, percent happy days, you have your uh, week's work done. So that's why we were saying we're fine tuning everything, me and Perry. We do have different styles, but we also want to make sure, you know, what we post for you is consistent within, you know, the challenges, um, uh, like um, core and idea of it. Um, and that is, it's it's quite, you know, consistent and clear to, to share. And just, uh, sorry, Perry, because I did ask you to show us, uh, show um, members that are watching right now what we have. So maybe if you want to just scroll from the top uh, and I'll quickly um, talk about what we do. So um, yeah, announcements. There is a uh, Martiverse part where it's uh, solemnly my own um, trades, either spot trades, scalp trades. I also shared my portfolio um, and my, um, I don't know what they're not showing. Uh, all the rooms are not showing for you. Uh, we can, you, you want me to enable this one? So uh, we, we can go from here, by the way, if you want. Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. There's obviously moderator. But there's parts you won't see because they become belong to the management. But from uh, the Martiverse, after your verification, uh, you um, see the Martiverse part. If you want to scroll, scroll a little bit lower there. Um, yeah, uh, we have the uh, prediction game isn't live yet. Uh, my spot trades, my scalps, you can keep scrolling, uh, Perry, um, my portfolio, uh, in the crypto, uh, part is obviously market updates and we regularly share what we see in the market. Um, you can request your charts. They get, um, posted into the analysis. We've recently also added a high block. Uh, that has, uh, if you want to even open the room there, uh, for the guys, um, we have this bot where you can guys, uh, enter the room and there is several, uh, heat maps that you can see either Bitcoin or Ethereum on different timeframes and the liquidation levels for different altcoins. And the ones that you see, um, exactly that pops up. You are the only person that sees it. And you can um, then obviously when you're trading a certain asset, it's very, very handy uh, for, you know, just following. Um, so there, there's a uh, pair if you want to just scroll up a small bit. There's a list of liquidation levels, but there's also if you go to the more liquidation levels, there's other coins, Dodge, Sheep, Vet. You can see um, there's a quite good selection of them. Uh, so you can trade, you know um trade trade and use this uh as your confluence as your tool use it uh, using it for for your uh, setups uh in the money shower uh that is a part where we have kind of put together uh what i call hot drops um sometimes and we know it elon will say dodge to the moon and Dodge basically goes to the moon. And literally at that point, you know, sometimes it is okay to go chasing and we say, right, a long Dodge, right? So it's it's highly uh, volatile, highly risky uh, channel. Mm, totally not recommended for people to, that <laughs> don't know how to manage the risk, but that's why it's called hot drop. Uh, 
low carb gems i think that's self-explanatory uh traditional markets yes we also do have a place where uh we have a, a few people that love to trade traditional markets and they do share their thoughts you're more than welcome guys as well if you are become a member um you know participate in that as well because i know some people do uh enjoy uh either even forex trading or or indices um so that we have sp space for that as well uh we have amazing um poet he's a a, a, an absolute goat when it comes to portfolio building uh he's when he's he's had a lot of like you know um experience when it comes to his own hardship and crypto and he brought it all of that to us um answers all the questions about how what's the best way to split your portfolio um or he, his knowledge is second to none i think a, a great guy also, education content, guys, where we share everything. I mean, I mean, oh gosh, where do I even start? You ask a question and we try and answer and put it there. And if you didn't even ask a question, um, there's things that we always like. That's what I always keep saying as well. Marktiverse is an educational um, discord. Uh, we have trades, but we want you to learn. And we are showing you how to fish and you go and fish yourself. Library is uh, Paul, uh, Perry's uh, baby. And this guy has an ocean, absolute ocean of uh, different resources, PDFs, videos of everything and anything to do with strategies, trading, um, I, I mean, Perry, you'd probably be better off telling us what, what exactly is in there, but there's a ton. You, you won't be bored. You won't be bored, guys. <laughs> um, I think Alpha and Ordinals at the minute are not live, but we, um, we do have, we do have, uh, we're keeping an eye on Ordinals, um, uh, especially right now. There is definitely a, a reason to. So we do have someone who looks after it, but I think he's currently uh, away. VIP YouTubes, that, so obviously that is when we have our streams and people can't watch them or different like educational videos as well that we decide to record. They get posted and they are um, available for the members to go back on. And that's the OG corner I've already mentioned. Uh, every OG has their own space. Uh, we have Astro, who is a brilliant uh, scalper. We've recently had him join our uh, member, uh, our OG member uh, corner. Uh, he's winning rate uh, uh, averages between 70, 75%. Uh, great guy. Uh, really pleased to have him. Uh, bleeding crypto. Uh, comes uh, in every now and again and he also shares his insights about heat maps um he 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 love he he loves to share uh, what he sees on the charts nagato also uh joined us um and actually guys i'm gonna take this opportunity to introduce him uh he is a part uh, he is a guy who has a tremendous knowledge when it comes to fundamentals uh he's like you know i i i i think of him when i when i see his work he's like this little um like a miner nearly because he she just goes and he like will dig everywhere and anywhere to find those gems and he will do superb research on them um poef he's our i've already mentioned him before he's uh portfolio uh he also does trade so he he shares all his knowledge in there perry you've had an introduction to perry so he scalps his trades his materials posted there poopy is our nft um um mind that uh, brings us different uh trending or not trending like little hidden gems when it comes to nfts shares his uh, findings and of course, Yara, who helps us keep our minds um, healthy and balanced and reminds us, you know, what, what it's all about and how to stay sane in this game. 
uh, I think like I don't want to bore anyone really. Uh, like I said, if you have uh, any more questions as I'm talking here, uh, the rest is visible to uh, everyone and anyone. Mm. I I I would love to go into more details, but this this Discord has been designed, uh, like I said from the get go, to help, to support, to share knowledge, to uh, you know answer your questions before the crazy starts, and where you are able to uh, use the opportunity that you have. So many, you know, uh, other either experienced uh, people or even like other members uh, around you where you can use the opportunity to learn from them, ask them questions, share your ideas uh, and always, you know, always find a way out of a situation. Uh, we, we really put an emphasis on that support. Um, we have a great bunch, uh, great atmosphere. Uh, I think everyone that belongs to this Discord will uh will agree and we're very excited because we were very we have a vision we really want to keep this going uh an amazing and build an amazing space for everyone involved um and we believe this challenge uh is going to definitely add a lot of value and teach every one of us that take part in it how to become a better trader and also uh, manage our emotions and yeah, make money along the way. So that's it for me. Um, if you have any other questions, like I said, guys, you have two seconds to ask them. If not, uh, Perry, I might leave you just to summarize. Maybe if you have more thoughts to share or say, and we're going to um, wrap up. All right. Well, um, I think we're pretty good, unless there are any questions left. If you guys have some questions, be uh, feel free to ask, and uh, I could dive into to, to any of them. Don't feel silly about thinking your questions might not be good or anything like that. Just uh, ask anything you might want to know, and uh, I'll get to them. If you are thinking about joining us, uh, the only official way, guy, guys, is uh, through the web page. There is only at the minute uh, a one month uh, option available, uh, official on the website. But I do have um, an offer going for three months uh, that it has a discount and that comes with that comes at i think 90 dollars for three months so if you're interested to join us for that amount of time uh please just there's a at the bottom you can um post a ticket um and i one of our moderators or myself uh, will answer and will send you the link so you can do that uh i believe with the amount of things that we have in the discord the value is really really great guys you won't find another place another discord so uh priced so well as this uh, and i and i i i i i'm saying this not because i have this <laughs> I'm, I'm biased but i see the prices of other discords around um but yeah thanks very much uh for joining us i hope you enjoyed it uh i hope you are as excited for this challenge as we are it's kicking off soon get ready get that mindset ready and we'll we'll be seeing you around soon and yeah we'll be making a lot of money Woo! <laughs>